Hey folks, this is Max and welcome to another workflows video. Now in this video, I want to show you, to give you actually an overview of the workflows uh, dashboard or the console. And that's what you're looking at um, right now. So that's the topic uh, for today. All right, so first um, you're looking at a folder and I'm in the folder called examples. And then I have 10 flows here, all right? Um, all the folders that I have are on the left-hand side. Now, it's it's a good idea um, to, to create folders and play your workflows um, in a folder. You know, it's going to be easier to, to find them and to maintain them. And if other folks need to access, they'll be able to find it. All right. Now, in the folder, um, you know, you have you can sort um, by, by different columns here. And I had a video where we talked about different types. So there is the, this one, for example, um, is a schedule. This means um, it will periodically run based on the schedule. This one is based on the app event. So it's going to wait for an event to occur in a particular app. And then this workload will, will get invoked. Um, so that's for the type. Now, you can also, um, and actually I switched between the, the two views. You can go to, this is a list view, but you can also go like a tile view, which uh, also pretty pretty cool. So again, I switch between the two, um, but um, that's, that's available. Um, so in the flows here, you can also switch to tables and I haven't covered tables yet and I'll definitely do that in, in a future video. But um, a table allows you to store data that um, your flow perhaps creates or, or needs uh, at some point. So for example, you start the flow, you save uh, data into a table, and then at another step or card, you retrieve the data from a table. Anyhow, I don't have any tables here, but this is what, um, you know, the tables will be listed here in a similar sort of fashion as uh, flows. All right. Um, all right, let's go back here. Now for each flow, let's go back to a list and then there is a little gear icon and then you can edit the description, you can test it uh, and you can also export the flow. So this is, uh, if you want to, for example, share a flow with someone, you can export um, the file. And then to import, you would um, go into any folder. Actually, I will select any folder. Uh, let's do learning and then select the gear button for a folder, and then there is import. So the import is available only on the folder. Um, so now you can also export in an entire folder. And so if you have multiple flows in a folder, you actually you'll get all of them uh, if you do an export on, on a folder, all right? Um, and of course, you know, this is one of the main buttons here is you would create a new flow and, you know, this is where you would, uh, you would do it. Now, moving up here, so I am um, I have the flows tab um, selected right now. Uh, let's go quickly to connections. So connections, this is a list of all the connections that you have to various other uh, services. All right, so you can see again, you can have any number of um, connections uh, and then they would be uh, all listed uh, listed here, right? And again, you can you can edit them. Uh, you can uh, reauthorize and you can delete. So again, as you're building your workflow, you're going to connect to Slack, to Google Sheets, to Okta, and whatever other options are there. And then so those connectors will be listed here. Let's quickly go to templates. Uh, so templates are ready to use uh, workflows that you can quickly import and just run or you know use as a starting point for your workflow. Uh, or just learn and see how that particular template works. So any template that you like, you open it, and then you can read a short description. You can look at some of the resources available, and then you will click Add a Template. And then here it actually tells you, so it's going to add one flow and one table. And it's also going to create a folder. So it's really nice, it's, it's not just gonna dump everything into just one folder, but for each template, it's going to create a separate folder, which I think is very helpful. Uh, so the folder name is going to be create a report with Google Sheets, right? And then it will have one flow and one table, all right? So that's how it works. Um, all right, so that's for templates. Um, 
let's just quickly go and I'll just open one flow just to show you some of the elements that you get there. So let's open. Um, so you, when you open, you're going to be um, on the flow tab and this is where you edit uh, and build the flow. Uh, the flow history, I, um, again, you probably heard me say I like a lot because it shows you uh, previous executions. And it also, I love how the data flows shows you how data passes from cart to cart. Um, all right. Uh, right here, it's actually, it's active. Actually, you can, let me turn it off so it doesn't run. Uh, right here, you can have, you select different runs uh, and see again, see the history and the data that was used for the particular execution. Um, one other um, tab here is the flowchart, which also kind of, it's pretty cool. Uh, it shows you kind of a high level uh, view of the flow, right? So each card is represented here. Um, and then you can export an, an image. But of course, you can also take a screenshot if you want to use it somewhere. Um, anyhow, so that's for the flows. Um, I'm sorry, that's when we open a particular uh, flow. These are the options that we get. Uh, let's quickly look at home. So home is, your, is the starting page and it has a lot of educational resources. Um, you know, if you're just starting, but of course you can always come back here, um, you know, and, and, and see what's, what's available. But first there are a few getting started, uh, videos that are getting started and then you can get more advanced videos here. You have access to templates again, kind of like getting started most popular and then lifecycle management templates. Um, and then on the right hand side, you've got the docs link. You can uh, attend, um, schedule or attend. Um, office hours where, where you can get help, uh, you can get uh, training, and then you can also see uh, what's new, uh, what new features are were released, and what new connectors uh, are available. All right. Um, so that's it. Again, just a quick overview of the of the dashboard, um, and yeah, I hope hopefully this was useful. Uh, thank you for watching and um, I'll see you next time.